All right, welcome to the next video where we're going to finish talking about necrosis from a more uh, macro level, kind of what it looks like if you had the tissue in your hand. And to review real quick, we're, we talked about coagulative necrosis, which is um, dying of a tissue um, due to ischemia and the cell or the architecture of the gland or tissue is still intact. Liquefaction, liquefactive necrosis is where uh, um, usually a bacteria infection um, will cause this and it turns the tissue to more of like a liquid type of uh, substance and gangrenous necrosis is actually a subset of coagulative necrosis and it refers to lower limb ischemia usually uh, necrosis that happens in the lower limb and if the bacteria gets involved then it, it then it becomes or then it's called wet gangrene so in the case of caseous necrosis caseous is cheese cheese like I hate to uh, use food and pathology <laughs> in the same sentence or analogies because just kinda ruins it but uh, so caseous is a uh, cheese like so it looks like cheese and the caseous necrosis is usually involved in in tuberculosis infections. So if you think of tuberculosis, think of caseous necrosis or vice versa. And if you know you have a lung here, um, inside you will just have like a necrotic patch or area taken out and it just looks it's all white. And you can Google this for a picture. Uh, of caseous necrosis but it's all white and it looks like cheese and in coagulative necrosis the cell or the tissue architecture is remains it's kind of still intact with this stuff it's just obliterated you it's gone you can't see any kind of cell um, cell structure or tissue structure it's, it's just gone so fat necrosis move down here a little bit. Fat necrosis usually occurs in acute pancreatitis. This is a an emergent type of condition. Um, it's very painful. You can Google pancreatitis, or we'll discuss we'll discuss this pathology later in specifics. But acute pancreatitis is usually associated with fat necrosis. And what happens is is activated pancreatic lipases from the ACE in our cells. ACE in our cells in the pancreas, they leak out. They leak out and they either destroy the pancreas or part of the peritoneal cavity. Peritoneal cavity is just kind of the abdominal cavity inside. And inside the fat, um, inside um, any kind of cell or tissue that has uh, triglycerides. So a triglyceride is you have some kind of backbone here and then you have a fatty acid tail. Well these activated pancreatic lipases cleave this um, these triglycerides into individual acids and then these fatty acid tails they combine with calcium to form a kind of a little lumps 
uh, little little lumps, and so fat necrosis. You, the, you know, if you have a tissue here, there's chalky, there's chalky white little balls, if you will, and that is these fatty acid. Each fatty acid tail combining with some calcium, combining with some calcium to make these little balls, and all this is is just fat saponification. Um, so that's what fat necrosis is. So if you think of acute pancreatitis, think of fat necrosis and vice versa. So fibrinoid necrosis, I don't know if I'm saying that right, fibrinoid, however you want to say it, um, is is usually some kind of necrosis that involves, so if I so if I take a blood vessel here and I cut it in half and then I uh, my my eyeballs over here if I look at it from this direction it's gonna look something like this right so fibro fibrinoid necrosis is um, so you have some kind of antigen plus an antibody complex. So you have some kind of antigen and then the antibody attaches to that and we'll talk more about this process in uh, in an immune, immunology uh, section and that's coming up with later. But anyways the antigen and antibody complex it gets attached inside the around these cell walls here the inside of the cell wall and this necrosis kind of just happens and they and it's usually due to um, it usually happens in arteries and and vessel walls and a common condition that you can find this type of necrosis in is polyarteritis nodosa and you can google that and learn about that condition if you don't know what that is but we'll also talk about in the vascular part of pathology videos so that is fibrinoid necrosis so just to review we have fibrinoid necrosis fat necrosis caseous necrosis gangrenous necrosis when bacteria enters in it's called wet gangrene liquefactive necrosis and coagulative necrosis and that's it for necrosis see you in the next video